for Seychelles, being a very, very small island, uh, our priorities probably differ from that of the large cities. Uh, we have very little amount of space and uh, development in Seychelles uh, uh, has to rely on availability of space and how to create a space. In fact, uh, in the past we have uh, uh, reclaimed land and uh, this is extremely costly, it's a very costly exercise, so you have to reclaim and then you have to build housing and uh, you have also have to use the space uh, wisely uh, so as to accommodate. But, uh, on the other hand, our, uh, the good side of it is, uh, our advantage is that our population growth is uh, stable. Uh, we are, well, that's good side, bad side, it depends which side you look at it, because we are an aging population. Uh, so this gives us a good, uh, uh, a good way uh, to be able to plan, uh, because uh, it's of its stability. Uh, so this is uh, the priority that we have at the moment. And then we also have to take into account uh, the climate change, which uh, affects uh, small islands and the erosion, uh, coastal erosion. This is uh, part of what we uh, suffer at the moment. And uh, uh, we are, though the advantage between us and other small islands, like let's say Maldives, we, ha we have an advantage because uh, we are mountainous. Uh, so uh, I don't think we will disappear altogether. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, however, on the uh, flat coastal uh, area, it's causing some difficulties. We have a very good planning authority, and uh, all construction in Seychelles, before it happens, has to be uh, with the planning. Uh, so when, they, when, when we apply to build uh, anything, it has to go to this commission, to this authority, and uh, there, is, there are several factors that they put uh, into place to ensure that it will have long-term uh, sustainability. So that's an advantage that we have.